very, very quickly, my background is, yes, I was one of only four female managing directors at what was then the world's largest bank. I ran uh, hedge fund sales and equity derivatives, so not uh, necessarily an easy job. It was one of the toughest client bases, and I know a lot of you come from a corporate background. But I'd also had my own TV show like 30 years ago, so I've had many careers. I own my little own oil and gas company. So I love constantly reinventing, and exactly as Philip said, the journey keeps evolving. So when COVID-19 happened, the first thing I said to Philip is, your moment has arrived, etiquette finally earns its place on the stage as a need to have, and it's so true. And, and again, I keep the, the team here have already said it, but that five-day course isn't just a huge blows your own mind for what you can get out of it, but think now in a practical business sense, because when furlough ends at the end of October in the UK, similar in the US, it might have already ended as Janica said, but in different countries, government support will disappear. Now you're going to have an onslaught of people who need new careers. This is a fabulous new career for those of you who know you have a passion for etiquette. And as I can quite rightly attest, the British School of Etiquette, frankly, is the best in the world, and I believe one of the few truly uh, global etiquette schools. So think not just of the wonderful benefits of teaching people how to respect others, communicate better, but also if it's your goal to make a business out of it, fantastic. Take the five-day course. That's an absolute necessity for you. You've now learned from the best. You have probably the world's best accreditation. And then start thinking, how do I want to fit myself in in a business sense? Because you can go in any direction. You can go etiquette. Business etiquette is exploding. Networking companies are now, as anyone in the corporate world knows, you're having to network in a corporate online environment. This is a whole new skill set. So netiquette, as Carol mentioned, understanding how to communicate, not just if you're five years old, but if you're 80 years old. And there's a lot of people having to get used to virtual training. So all of that, in fact, we created a bespoke course. Uh, I love that Maria's here for the presentation when we created another course for the British School of Etiquette and teaching you how to build and grow and scale your business. All these people coming out of furlough have great ideas, but they have no clue how to implement them. So how to write that business plan, how to understand what your KPRs are, how to work your brand. I love uh, Carol's comment on marketing, so true. So we give you a really clear framework and then stay in touch with people to make sure their businesses thrive. Philip, back to you.